Hi, hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm John Cox, a professional photographer based in Salford, Greater Manchester, in the northwest of England. In this short video, I'm offering some simple close up photography tips and specifically looking at the use of an essential piece of kit for close up work the ring flash. This is my setup. As the name suggests, instead of an inbuilt flash or flash gun head that sits on top of your DSLR camera, the ring flash mounts around the whole of the lens front, minimising shadow and ensuring that light falls on small objects evenly. You can pay anything between £300 and £1,000 for big name flashes, but I just wanted to shoot bugs, snails, coins, flower heads and other small objects, so opted for the Mic FC100, which costs less than £30, that's $50 or €40. Euros. It's so easy to use and does its job well, and I don't really need anything more powerful. It's cheap simply because it uses a circular of LEDs as a light source, powered by four AA batteries. It comes with seven screw-on adapter rings covering lens diameters from 52mm to 77 Select your adapter ring, screw it into the lens end and clip the end, the flash, the ring flash, onto the adapter ring. The battery houses, housing and control unit slides onto the camera flash, flash shoe. Although it has a flash mode, I simply use the in-light mode, providing a constant ring of light and helpful for example, when focusing in the dark with my garden nail snail project featured here. For all the images in this video, I've used my wonderful wide angle 1.4 to 5.6, 10 to 20 millimeter Sigma, simply because it offers such great depth of field. The amount of subject in focus, that's called the depth of field, is the one big issue when getting in close on small subject. And when using the camera, the camera handheld it's always a good idea to take a number of shots and simply pick out the ones that are sharpest. Here are a dozen shots I'm happy with that I took of common snails at night using the ring flash in constant light mode. I never tire of watching and photographing them. Incidentally the ring flash was invented in the 50s for dental photography and they commonly used at crime scenes for forensic photography where unwanted shadow could conceal detail. As you're shooting away, you can actually, if you're very careful, move snails and after a minute, when you've got a better background, they'll come out to play again and they'll walk and you'll get some great shots. Next, I want to share with you a fabulous uh, discovery that I made while I was making these um, portraits of the garden snails in my garden. With the um, flash still on in light mode, I held the ring with the light about four inches away from the lens in front of the camera and then I focused on the object again framing it carefully with the inner ring of the flash uh, unit and then when it was focused I took a shot and I noticed in the viewfinder looking at the photographs that um, holding it in this way created um, a natural um, halo effect with a white ring um, around the photograph and um, afterwards when edited um, with my software might have been some adjustments to um, crop um, the photograph to the best advantage and possibly make an adjustment to contrast so that you can't see um, little pieces um, in the background either side of the actual ring have a go at it and see how it get, turns out. Again, um, these are the best of a bunch. And I took five or six um, shots each time to get the very best results. Because I'm holding it by hand, uh, it's inevitable that sometimes you're not going to get the depth of field or the focus that you want, but it's worth sticking at it and doing it time and time again. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video, and why not uh, take a look at my photography blog, which also contains a number of um, uh, fresh ideas and tips for photography. You can also follow me on Facebook, 
where I write regularly about photography and share my photos. You can also visit my business website to look at examples of my business services. Thanks for watching. All the best.